is your dream? Do you have a dream collaborator, somebody you would like to collaborate with in the future? I have had, probably this is the second time that someone asked me this what? question. <laughs> yes. And uh, I will have for me to, to answer it. Because I have one collaborator at least, but in different genres. Oh. Remember that uh, we, let's go to Cuban music. In yeah. Cuban music, we have La Timba, which is the most contemporary salsa mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. band music. So in La Timba, the biggest thing that I would like to, to do is playing with Los Bambam. Los Bambam, which is our, you know, one of the biggest ones that we have. Uh, in the, Af the Cuban jazz, I already fulfilled one of those dreams, which, which is which is playing many times with Maestro Chucho Valdez. I'm missing yeah. one, which is having a duo piano with Gonzalo Rubalcaba. Wow. Now in the American jazz, I definitely would like to have two of my biggest heroes. One is Herbie Hancock and Chick Corea. Two different pianists two for two different approach. Me in the middle, what? <laughs> <laughs> Herbie Hancock and Chick Corea. Then going to Latin pop, because I love pop music. I love pop music. There's one Spanish, Spanish pop music, uh, artist that is called Alejandro Sanz. Oh, yes. I would love to tour with Alejandro Sanz. Yes. I would love to, ha to accompany piano and voice and orchestra to Luis Miguel. Ah. <sighs> to do like a nice bolero, contigo aprendí, with the orchestra, and me arranging that with the electric harmonic. But Dudamel and, <laughs> and, and, and Luis Miguel. <laughs> I miss to have a, a Juan Gabriel, which is I love it. Ooh, I, I grow with that. No tengo dinero ni nada que dar. Lo único que tengo es amor para dar. Love it. My, my grandma singing that. So I have like, you know, I also would like to have a, a, like a collaboration with some mariachis. To have something like a very hardcore mariachi with me in the middle. To have something, you know, with some electronic stuff. You know, I have been listening to so many, you know, uh, different type of styles that it's hard for me to, you know, to... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, I mean, uh, you know, uh, 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 and, uh, and, you know, a uh, a uh, 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 boom, but he also, you know, you know yeah. he associated, you know, as a, as a rock artist, yeah. you know, we did something nice to, to take him out of his comfort zone, <laughs> you know, and go like that, but, uh, yeah. So, you know. <laughs> cool. cool. And I might know the answer to this, but I don't assume I know the answer to this. If you had not done music, right, <laughs> uh, what would have been the alternate course for you? Baseball yeah, player. That's what I thought. <laughs> Man, I, you know, I would have been a baseball player. I, I think that I, I actually have good hand to have to be a baseball player, and I actually attend to be a baseball player for the week because, you know, my dad was a social on top of me with so, so much rigor to practice so many hours that at some point one thing I said, man, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this. This is just too much pressure. And uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to drop the piano for a week. And I actually enrolled into a baseball academy. <laughs> <laughs> but I was so little and so skinny that, uh, you know, it, you know, it was running so much, only the sun, so hot. And then one day they had call it a dead ball, you know, when the, the ball hit you here. Yeah. And then from that point, I said, mm, this is not for me. <laughs> <laughs> but also the turning point was that uh, a, in Cuba, we have a, a, a band that is only for kids between 8 to 13 years old. A, that is called Ismaelillo from Cienfuegos. Killing band, singing, put together everything organized with a nice suit, everybody. And they used to have this every Sunday, this a a a red no TV live at 6 p.m. So we used to wait for the kid to see them performing live. I mean, I saw that piano player sing, playing the piano with only like 11, 12 years, 12 years old, and I started like, having you know tears like that. Like man, I see myself that I want to be there playing myself. So that was the turning point where I said like you know. Music is my passion, I will pursue it. I think you made the right decision. <laughs> <laughs> we so much appreciate having, have, being able to make this happen. Thank you so much for being our guest today on Storyo Thank you very much, you. <laughs>